Okay, so what this is, is uh, I'm going to be drawing upside down. And I'm going to time myself for 10 minutes. But I'm going to speed up the drawing because that's 10 minutes of me drawing. So yet yeah, that's, you don't need to suffer. Watch all that. Okay, so this is not a Da Vinci. Like I said, this is my Michelangelo. And this is a, this is the face of Mary, Jesus' mother. And she's looking down at Jesus and he's in her lap. Just been taken down from the cross, and so this right here is uh, that sculpture, but it's a close up of her face. Okay, and so I'm going to try to draw it and try to draw it upside down, and also time myself for like 10 minutes. So I, I, I think it's really neat to draw faces that are looking down. I'm just telling you the history behind this sculpture. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot of similarities between the work of of uh, Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci because uh, they were uh, both in Florence at uh, nearly the same time although M da Vinci was much older and so I think uh, Michelangelo learned a lot from da Vinci in fact there's these stories of how some of da Vinci's paintings uh, were ruined uh, on one hot summer night because he had painted wax as his base for his paint on a wall and, and the paint started to run off the wall and some people were laughing about it because he had left. He'd given up on the painting. And and, and the, Michelangelo scolded him and told him, he said, uh, that old man's messes are better than my best masterpieces. Now let that soak in. So he learned. He learned so much from him. Now, I'm looking at this right now. I can't really tell exactly what I'm doing wrong, but I can see it now. My face is way too narrow. But that's all right. I'm drawing it upside down and fast. Not as fast as you're seeing, but still pretty fast. Because I got a timer on me, and I'm going to try to get as much of the picture drawn in there as I can in 10 minutes. So I'm shading, and then I'm pulling out some highlights. I'm doing, when I do that, I'm just putting in midtones. I'm just putting in midtones everywhere. And then I'm going to pull out uh, highlights with my eraser. I go through a lot of erasers. I mean, I just throw pencils away once the erasers are gone. If I pick up a pencil that doesn't want to draw, I just toss it and get another one. They're fairly cheap. I mean, I can buy 12, 16 pencils for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I was at Walmart the other night, and I saw uh, a ream of paper, 500 sheets for $3 and something. And I was like, wow. Think how good a person could get if they did a drawing on each one of those 500 sheets so you know it's <clears throat> it's a fairly uh, inexpensive way to do this number two pencils um, and copy paper so I'm drawing it upside down and I'm eventually gonna widen that face out some but right now I think I've got I think here's what I think I think I've got it at the right angle I think I've got the face at the right angle and some of this might be because I've been drawing a da Vinci's uh, angel from the Virgin of the Rocks and <clears throat> it's a tricky angle too and it's so this one is this one's looking down and the eyes are a lot like the same way da vinci does his eyes and so i have to get that lip just right now that nose is wrong right now there's a lot wrong with this picture but i have to fix that and i'll do that with the kind of drawing i do after i lay in everything that i have to put in there for the basic drawing and uh, you can see me putting in the, the shadow under the nose and going in here. You still have to work on the eyes. You've got to get your eyes in there, your nose and the mouth, and they have to be at the right angle. And I'm noticing it's, it's narrow, and that nostril is up too high. I'll have to fix that. And the, the nose is not quite right. There's a whole lot wrong with this picture. But like I said, I'm drawing it upside down, and I'm going as fast as I can. And this is the first time I've drawn uh, this one. Uh, the face of Mary from the Pieta, which is one of uh, Michelangelo's famous works. Now, <clears throat> I've uh, found some models on this place called Thingiverse.com. It's a site, and uh, you can print them off. I printed out a, a model of uh, the Pieta. Of, well, I printed out the face of Mary from the statue of the Pieta. And I print it out in 3D. I think that's great. I believe it, I should print some more of these kind of things out. Also for my students, mostly for my students to draw from. 
so they can see how uh, actual faces are shaped because it's hard to get a person to just sit there and you don't want to just draw just from uh, photos all the time you want to actually be able I think to be honest with you I believe that's how they used it is how they used to learn to draw was a plaster cast of uh, faces and hands and they learned how to draw um, by copying those and so that was like 3D photographs back in the day before there were photographs and people learned to draw by drawing from uh, looking at plaster casts of, uh, of statues so I use a photocopy but I also kind of go and look I look at the statue or the, this little bust of uh, Mary and that helps me some I'm printing out a bigger one that I'm going to use but for the first one of these, this one's not terrible. I mean, I think my drawing, all those Da Vinci's, now has helped quite a bit. I should probably just quit here. I'm still drawing upside down. And that face is still too narrow, though. I, I need to bring it out wider. It needs to be wider on, on this side, on, on my left side. On our left side right now that we're looking at. And I, I do get that done. And the nose is wrong, but I, I do fix the nose. But yeah, uh, I don't think this is a bad exercise. Get a, an egg timer. That egg timer costs like $3 and something. So uh, I think that's what I call it. But uh, it's a great little device. I'm just about to run out of time here. And so I better make sure I've got everything laid in there. I've got to get some of that cloth put in there. I should probably do the folds more the way they actually are, but I'm just throwing them in there. And that's not too bad. That's, that's not too bad. But, you know, there's a lot of problems with it, too. But for drawing it upside down in 10 minutes, that's... I've come a long way. <clears throat> Am I any good? No, I am still terrible. But uh, I'm learning. And so I think you can learn a lot by doing this kind of thing, too. So... You know, it's not a bad idea to get out a sheet of paper, like copy paper, and uh, take a photo and draw it, looking and just at it from uh, upside down. Now, there it is. I turned it around. I turned my drawings round and round. I'm looking at the clock. Yep, I ran out of time. Oh, I need to fix some things on here. Now, I may I go wrong in some places after I turn it right side up, because then I start drawing how I want it to be and not how it actually is. But I'll struggle. And uh, that's one of the things I do, and, and I'll try to make it look, look better as I work on it. And that's what I want my students to do. I want you to draw a face. Uh, looking at, You don't have to do this one. You could do anime. But, you know, I think it should be a face. You could draw somebody you know, but have their face looking down, like, at a, at a pretty steep angle, like this one is. And fill the page. Now, if you want to put in color, you can. I mean, if you want to paint it, you can. I mean, I'm not talking painting right now. I'm going to get into painting later. But I think we need to we need to master drawing, and that's what we're trying to do with these uh, drawings right here. Is we're trying to get to where we can we can draw well enough to where if we do paint something, it'll look pretty real. We may never get there, but we can try. Okay, and so we're all doing it together. And the main thing is you just have to uh, practice this you're not going to get better. So what I've set out to do is to try to draw uh, one drawing per day. Just one, just one. And some days I don't. Some days I don't get one drawn. I'll try to find something simple. You know, if it's one of those days where I'm pressed for time because I have to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But, I mean, I'm really getting uh, into it now. And uh, I find that if I don't draw, I feel this urge to draw within, like, a day or so. And then I really want to uh, draw a lot. Now on this one, I, I've just not used my my left hand for helping me to guide me so much as uh, it's just helping me hold the paper. Because when I was doing the upside down drawing, that, that got a lot of it in there. I think it just took a break today. Oh, see, it's, it's still doing it. It's going back. There, I, was, <laughs> I must have <laughs> talking about it. Now you can see I'm doing it. And for me, it's kind of unconscious. 
so I'll, I'll work on it. That nose is not right, and I have to fix it. And that nostril is way up too high. But, see, that's the thing. It's like a puzzle, and you just have to work on it and work on it until you get it just right. And you're like, okay, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? The nostril's too high. I can't see it at the moment because I'm dealing with the fog. That's what I call it, the fog. Because in the fog, you can't see what you've done wrong. That's where you kind of need to just lay the whole thing up somewhere and not work on it for 30 minutes to an hour. But since I'm drawing it on camera, it's kind of hard to just do that. Impossible. Or I would just go, oh, look, that nostril's too high up. I need to move that down. So I'm just going to keep going around that nose, trying to figure out what that problem is and not be able to see it. Later, I think I fix that. Pretty sure. But for the moment, I can't figure it out. And I think one of the eyes is too too close, too close to the nose. The one on the right hand side when the picture's straight up and down. <laughs> oh, allergy season. But yeah, I drew this one today, and uh, I also printed off a. Uh, a 3D model, and I've got another 3D model I'm going to print off of the face of Mary from the Pieta. You don't have to draw this, though. I just want you to draw a face looking down. Now, this is from a famous work of art, so there you go. See, I uh, uh, found it. Uh, I knew it would do it. Left hand kicked in. Better. Better. And you just have to work with, with your drawing for a while, and it'll get better, but it's not going to get better if you don't. Now I'm drawing on it again, and um, I, I went and I got off camera for a minute just so I could see it. And I'm saying, okay, i got to fix this, the chin and the mouth and the, sh the shadowing under the nose. And I'm never going to get mine to look just like the original. And, but that's okay, and I'm not too unhappy with this one. This is my first attempt at at the Pieta of Mary's Face done by uh, Michelangelo. So I'm printing out a 3D uh, bust of it, which uh, I, I can look at and help me as well. And here we are. I've turned it around. I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, oh, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? I need to fix that mouth. There's the shading on it. This is not right, and I think the face is still too narrow. I don't know, and it's my my work is not as nearly as delicate as his. And I think the cheeks are wider, wider than what I've done. But you know, you you just have to look at it and and see. I'll probably do more of these. I'll, I'll make some more of these. You know, copy paper you can get 500 sheets of it in a in a, in a package. So I could do like. 20 or 30, easy. It's still hardly use any paper. And it's no telling how much better I'll get. I'm looking at that shading. It's a little different than what I've done on the nose. Uh, up, uh, over top the nostril, there's less shading there, and I need to fix that. Okay, here we are, and I'm looking at it, and I've turned off the, the light on the hover cam. So it doesn't have all that glare on it. So I'm finishing this one up. Uh, there comes a point in time when you're working on a drawing and you're just done. I mean, if you work on it much more, it's it'll be overworked. So I think this one is has been worked on quite a bit. And it's looking more like the original now. I worked on the nostril. I worked on the face. And I think it's more graceful. It just took time, folks. You just have to be able to put some time into it, and then you can make it look more and more like the original. And that's what it's all about. It's just observation and patience. And so she she's looking better. I did not think she would look this good. But she looks okay.